Look at that picture. A jam-packed house here now, ready for the Larry Holmes, Tim Witherspoon, WBC World Heavyweight Championship fight. Familiar voice in boxing, ring announcing for many years. The uncle of the Lennon sisters. Here is Jimmy Lennon. Lennon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Tonight, the big crown affairs feature event, the main attraction of the evening, Don King production in conjunction with RSVP in the beautiful Dunes Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is for the heavyweight championship of the world, the World Boxing Council title, 12 rounds of boxing. The officials, as appointed by Nevada State Athletic Commission, your referee will be the district attorney from Reno, California, Mr. Mills Lane. Out of California, judging at ringside, Chuck Hassett with Herb Santos of Reno and Charles Minker of Las Vegas, Nevada. Timekeeping at the bell, Mike Lachella with Charlie Ruff, Dr. Robin, Larry Robin, Dr. Donald Romeo, Dr. Flip Hamansky in attendance at ringside. And here we go, presenting to you the challenger on my right, wearing white trunks with a black trim, hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in tonight at 219 pounds. The number three contender, he has remained undefeated, scoring 11 knockouts in 15 straight wins, and he has earned the name of Terrible Tim Witherspoon. Ladies and gentlemen, as his opponent, the defending champion, hailing from East or Eastern Pennsylvania. He weighs in a trim and ready 213 pounds. A champion that has done everything asked of him. He has remained undefeated with 30 knockouts and 42 straight wins. Here he is, the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes. Your referee, the District Attorney of Reno, Nevada, now to give instructions. Right, yeah. All right, Larry. Ready, Eddie? Okay, we've gone through the instruction in the dressing room. Any questions from the challengers, Chief Second? From the challenger. Any questions from Mr. Fudge? From the champion. All right, protect yourself at all times. Let's get it on. <laughs> Get it on, Mills Lane, who also refereed the Cooney Holmes fight here in Las Vegas. Tail of the tape, eight years younger, Tim Witherspoon. Same height, uh, six and a half pull in the weights. The reach difference could be a factor, four inches. Fist size, well, Holmes is a big man. In there at 213 pounds, Angelo Dundee, that's a good weight for the champ. Great weight, but I was watching Tim Witherspoon. He's not awed, and he kept saying famous words, but... Muhammad said the same thing to Sonny Liston. I got you. And, and Tim is not being intimidated by Look at him block Larry those Holmes. left jabs. Beautifully done. And the defense is important, especially from the jab. Well, he's a well-fought young man. That Slim Jim Robinson is a heck of a trainer. He's just screwed him for a long time. Witherspoon being the aggressor here. He's in the white trunks with the black stripes. Holmes in his Holmes red, as he calls it. Chris, you know, reach is a very deceptive thing. It's the way you put your feet into the pocket between the other guy's two feet. Uh, reach is deceptive. It's the way you plant your punch. So the reach differentiation is nothing. All right, how are these two heavyweights doing with that uh, front foot? Well, the front foot's right in there. And yes, Tim, it is. And Tim Winspoon is slipping, slipping in and letting the jab go. You call it a slip jab. Scheduled for 12 rounds at WBC rules. These are eight-ounce gloves. Ten-point must, three judges. The referee, a new thing, safety valve, can give a standing eight count if he desires. Oh, yes, and I, I feel a little good about it. I talked to Suleiman, and standing eight count, if the guy's against the ropes, they take him away from the ropes to do the count. Larry's going for it all, obviously with those combination punches. Stephanie in the left hook, and Holmes has proven his defense over the last 14 title defenses. 
When he has been in trouble, Angelo, he's always had that great condition, ability, well, he hard came, to come back. He came back something tremendously from a lot of fights. Got, looked like he couldn't get up anymore. Came up with the right uppercut. That won the Weaver fight. Slipping inside to avoid those heavy punches thrown by the champion, Larry Holmes. It was Tim Witherspoon of Philadelphia. Attended Lincoln University in Missouri for a year. He's had tough going. He's got a brother, light heavyweight, undefeated in nine. That was partially blocked. Tim's got a very unique way of blocking punches. He keeps that right hand of his planted on the left side of his jaw, a la Sugar Ray Robinson. Ray Robinson used to do that all the time and intimidate you. Your Sugar Ray Leonard wasn't bad. All right, two heavyweights here in the first round. Trying to decide who's going to take charge. Temperature now about 70 degrees. Sun has been out a long time. Las Vegas time, 9.25. We have less than 25 seconds remaining in round one. I know Tim Witherspoon's very happy to be fighting the guy from the book. He said he had all kinds of trouble with Mr. Snipes because the way he ran away and his awkwardness. Witherspoon, who has not had a fight in a little uh, over a year because of an injury to the jaw and an abscessed wisdom tooth. It was Snipes that he beat. All right. He is a quiet, friendly 25-year-old heavyweight from Philadelphia. He's having a good time. All right. That's Eddie Alano, and there is Slim Jim Robinson on the left. Pretty good right fighter in his own right. right hand Great one. Up underneath your head. Uh -huh. You mean he put his left leg up, uh, right, uh, uh, left leg up off the floor? Okay, he's he's right hand over here, Timmy. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Put a little bit more pressure on him. Keep him running from you. Okay. You roll underneath your right hand, Tim. Next time you do it, go over top of your left hook. All right. I wish you'd see a mouthpiece out there. Come on. I got you it. You got it, Eddie. All right. You're rolling, okay? You roll and you punch at him, okay? He's right on his back. Minimum amount of talking, but right to the point for the young heavyweight contender. Very good job being done. And of course, your old nemesis Eddie Futch in uh, Larry Holmes' corner. Not saying too much because the champion, a veteran of 42 fights, winning them all, pretty much at this point knows what to do. There again, Witherspoon blocking the punches, coming back with a right of his own. Listen to those punches. It's a real good boxing match, really. They're trying to outsmart each other right now. Larry's trying to suck him in for a right-hand counter. He's moving that, weaving that left hand in front of his face. But he's definitely looking to hit him with a right hand. Going to the body now is Witherspoon. He looks so confident. Talking with him, he was so determined. Had some animosity toward the champion because of a couple of incidents here at the Dunes. This point early in round two, he is not in awe of the champ. No, he's not. He's a well-conditioned young man. And he's, he's been well taught, and he's doing the right thing. He's taking it to Larry, trying to keep him off balance. The old, the old story is you get those guys with the, the oldish type of fighters, the old timer. You back them up, you take their the mobility away from them. Again to the body with the right hand, and the one to the left was partially blocked. Round two, scheduled for 12. Final bout on this unique boxing doubleheader in Las Vegas. Beautiful and shot by, by Witherspoon. Yes. Larry tried to counter with a right hand uppercut. He's going to see that more often if Witherspoon keeps throwing that right hand to the body. He's going to get countered with a right uppercut. Larry in a lackluster performance against Lucian Rodriguez in a coming home championship bout. Looks much better tonight. This is the worry about Larry, because, you know, you got to get yourself physically and mentally up for a guy. You know, and he, he had a lackluster fight against uh, Lucian Rodriguez, but here he is against a guy, 15 fights. So he must be saying to himself, how could he lick me? Larry moving forward a little bit more now. Trying with the combination, and again, caught in the arms or the gloves. Had a good idea to drop that left hand Witherspoon. Well, he's trying to suck. He's trying to sneak in a right hand counter himself. He's looking for Larry to throw a right hand at him. He's a well fought young man. See him block the right hand with an elbow right yes. there.
Less than 30 seconds remaining in round two. There have been no knockdowns. Neither fighter is marked. Both have landed effective punches. Beautiful boxing exhibition here. I love this. This is what you call pure boxing. This is absolutely picture book almost. The bell in five. Good right hand. That quick flush. All right, as they take that one minute, one minute rest, let's go to Don Chevrier. All right, Chris, and Mike Weaver's with me here at ringside. Mike, did you know the two judges who called the fight even, your fight, also called the 15th round even. If they had gone the other way for you, you would have won it. Yes, I felt that I won the fight because I did all the fighting and the pressure. And Dokes did all the running and the holding and the thumbing and the hitting low. You know, I felt I won the fight. How do you feel when he says he won't fight you again? Well, I, 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 I expected it because he know he didn't win the fight. He know I gave him the toughest fight of his career, and he know he don't want to take the chance to fight me again. So I, I, I don't expect him to give me a rematch. I'm about to fight and hope I get one from somebody. A lot of us at ringside thought you won. You obviously felt you won as well. Yes, I, I felt I won. It's some, somehow I seem to cannot beat the system. Get tough sometimes. You fought your heart out. All right, let's go back to Chris now. Witherspoon and Holt. Thank you, Mike and Don. Now, round three of a scheduled 12-round heavyweight championship bout. On the right, in the white trunks with the black trim, and with red, Larry Holmes, Tim Witherspoon. Witherspoon, as game as they come. I, I know that Tim Witherspoon is trying to take the legs out from Larry Holmes, because those legs have been traveling for a long, long time. So what he's trying to do is take the legs out from under him and be able to cut him off and hit him some good punches. A decided underdog is Witherspoon, there on the left. I've heard he was a 7-1 to underdog, and I remember in 64 being with you in Miami, calling a fight, a 22-year-old named Cassius Clay against Sonny Liston was 7-1, to and he won. That's correct, and, and, and Muhammad, Muhammad said the same thing that this kid said, I got you, in the middle of the ring. And at that time, uh, Muhammad had run 19 bouts undefeated. He was 22 years old. Tim Witherspoon has won 15 undefeated and is 25. So in championship heavyweight boxing, anything can happen. And Chris, you got to remember one thing. The 12-round route is better for Witherspoon because he's been to 10-round route. So two more rounds is not going to bother him physically or psychologically. And only 15 fights. Witherspoon has gone 10 rounds twice in his career. But now asked to go 12. There's that Holmes left jab. Can't be punishing. Only thing is not landing. With a spoon, popping the good with that right. He's got Larry confused with that right hand to the side. Cut on the ear. That right hand thrown by the champion. Ooh, a body punch. Dug into the side. Larry's trying to hit him a right hand counter. The danger with that. Chris is that he's going to get hit with a left hook counter himself from Witherspoon. With a minute to go, Angelo Dundee, uh, is it what you thought it would be? Yes, I thought this fight was going to be a dangerous you fight. You told me it was going to go Larry. Again to the left side of Holmes' body. Oh, the liver. I knew, I knew tonight was going to be an excellent night of boxing, all the way. This has been proven that way. See that double step that Witherspoon gave? You call it a stutter step. He knocks you off balance with it. This is youth. That's reflex. Much faster reflexes than Larry Hall. And for the first time, with 18 seconds to go in the third round, Witherspoon caught successive stiff jabs. But it can't get lax. He walked right into that right hand. First uppercut. But Kenz comes right back. Smothering Holmes. Let's go to Larry Holmes' corner. Eddie Fletch, Bill Prezant, and the entourage comes in. Jake Holmes. Listen to these fans. Witherspoon said something to yeah, the they, champion. He said, you want to continue? Let's go. <laughs> and Larry says, come on. He said, okay. Witherspoon. Uh, Right up what's going on. Round there he four. is, 33-year-old Larry Holmes, Mary who's indicated that four. this will be the last year. There, 
just not saying much, and when they do, it's very soft. It's always a soft-spoken corner. Larry Holmes has to be very careful. He can't let emotion take hold here. Professionalism's got to take hold because otherwise, he's going to wind up taking some real good shots from this kid who took Larry's right hand very well. Now they're in the middle of the ring. Under the bright lights before thousands of boxing fans. Holmes now getting more set. A little more in a pu really punchy yeah, he, position. He's just planting his feet. He's looking to get yeah. this kid out of there. Might be a mistake. He's got to bounce. He's got to move. He's got to set this kid up. Well, this kid's got some great moves. Slim John Robinson is a well well groomed teacher of fighting because he was so slick, nobody would fight the sucker because nobody could hit him. Mike Russman found that out. All right. Witherspoon, does he remind you of any uh, heavyweight from the past, Angelo? Well, I tell you, he reminds me a little bit about a young Ken Norton, the way he plants his foot, slips, plenty of body motion, a complete fighter. I mean, I'm impressed, and I was impressed before the fight. He's a baby-faced heavyweight. I mean, I'll tell you, Whitsman got a little bit of Archie Moore in him, too, but yes. he crossed his arms in front of him. He got Larry messed up with this. Larry's got to watch himself with this kick, but this kid's going to nail him. What a brilliant job the referee, Mills Lane, the district attorney of Marshall County in Nevada, is doing in this battle. Letting them work, letting them go, and that's the way it should be. That's two points for us little guys, Chris. Does a good job for a little guy. I mean, he's strong and dictates the pace of the fight. Larry trying to unload that right hand lead. Measure with the left. Witherspoon just keeps crossing that right hand above his face. Counters with a left hook. This battle in the rope square in Las Vegas with a minute to go. Round four. Witherspoon's going to have to find out, he's going to have to slip away from that right hand of Larry. He's got to go to the right of Larry and away from that right hand counter. They're staying with it range at all times. Both of them. And again, Angelo, as you said, he walked right into that right. Yes, he's got to move over to the right side so he would get countered. But Larry's a great right hand counter punch. And his are damaging punches. Witherspoon got a little damage over his left eye, Chris. Yes. Larry's knockouts and title defensive is, uh, usually come in later rounds. He, uh, his earliest was in a third round over Leon Spinks in Detroit. So right now four rounds have been completed with eight to go. Comfortable temperatures as we go to a lovely lady, Leandra Riley. Muhammad Ali, it looks like Larry Holmes is getting a little bit of a challenge. Do you agree? Well, yes. Tim is much better than I thought he was. He's got to reach. He's as tall as Holmes. He has no fear, no respect for his punches. Holmes' his best punch is the left jab. He's blocking and standing close. He's got to reach himself. He can present a problem in later rounds. And I would almost make a prediction that the way it looks now, Holmes don't knock him out, Tim will win on decision. Thank you very much, Muhammad Ali. Tim by no, decision. No doubt thinking of 20 years ago, Muhammad Ali. We're going to replay a couple of jabs thrown by Larry Holmes, Angelo. There's one. There's another one. Yeah, Slip Jim Robinson complained to the referee, Miles Lane, and told him that he's thumbing Tim Witherspoon. I think that's a mark of a good trainer second, making the referee aware there's something going on in there. That's right. It's a little psyching. It's getting your best hold, and that's what you have to do when the big men are fighting. Throw the kitchen sink if you have to. Anything. Grab the guy's leg. <laughs> Step on his shoes. Yeah. Pretty combinations. Yeah, that was a four-punch combination. The last right hand got in. didn't like that shot to the belly. It was back with a good right hand. I don't, no. think, I don't think anybody likes it to the belly. Mills Lane uh, asserting his authority. When they break, break. 
Jerry's talking to Tim Witherspoon and said, what are you doing that for? So there's a lot of metal, metal maneuvering in there also. Angelo had detected an abrasion in the left corner of Tim Witherspoon's yes. eye. No blood flowing, but an abrasion. Bruce. That could be created by a, by a thumb. It could be a punch. It could be a lot of things. It could be a little bit of an elbow because the eyelid is puffed. We're in the fifth round, scheduled for 12. Earlier, Michael Dokes retained his WBA World Heavyweight Championship. A draw against Mike Weaver. First time I ever saw Larry Holmes look in this corner because they're talking to Larry. And, uh, he's, and the, I don't know why he's looking at the corner. That's a no-no. Because you can get nailed a shot when you look at your corner. Especially by all of those shots. And the more punches you throw, Angelo, the more arm weary you could get as we look ahead in the schedule of 12 rounds. Larry's concerned about this youngster's style, though. He's having problems with it. And he's taking four punches out of the nation. At 219 and a half, Tim Witherspoon from Philadelphia on the right. He's a contender that believes youth and hunger will overcome this championship bout. Doing what he has to do, he's taking it to the champion. And he's trying to nail him with some punches. And he's trying to fight kind of a fight because you fight for a time, you gotta get it. And Larry Holmes left side, just above the belt. Starting to uh, get bruised because that's where Witherspoon has uh, leveled a lot of his right hands. And look at that move. Holmes comes to the right and Witherspoon comes to his left. That offsets him. Yes. He'd probably like to corner it like here. All right, the end of round five and a surprising performance by the undefeated contender from Philadelphia, Tim Witherspoon. Chris, you're going to see a lot more of what uh, Tim Witherspoon just did. He's a southpaw. And he's going to start switching and let his, his uh, southpaw stands come into play. Larry Holmes and Tim Witherspoon, uh, another part of the Crown Affair. Looking back now at some combinations by the champion, Larry Holmes. Here they are. One, two, three, four. Punch combination to the right. The rest right hand got in. Yes. And there he is, perspiring freely here under the lights at the dunes. Larry Holmes worried me that last round. He stood up quite a while before he sat down. A mark that those body shots are definitely getting to him. Uh -huh. Now they're ready for round six. Bill's Lane tells him to stay back nearer the corner. Now they come out near the center of the ring. They've used a lot of it. Witherspoon on the attack. They really gave Larry Holmes a bath in that uh, corner because his trunks are completely soaked and his body's completely soaked and he's dripping pretty good. Witherspoon looks as though he's completely dried out. Great training coming into this bout by Jim Robinson. Ooh, he tried Great right hand. Chop. He missed a great right hand. We're in the sixth round, and here you see the average rounds per fight. Holmes, an average of seven. Witherspoon, an average of 4.8. They're begging Larry to let that right hand go when two Witherspoon comes in. But that right hand count has worked very good for Larry Holmes. There's the jab that Larry Holmes is famous for. And of course, as you always point out, Angelo, that's the punch that sets up everything else. And again, digging that right to the body. Oh. Holmes, who conditioned himself superbly for this bout. There's the jab starting to work. Another one. Larry Holmes may have come in light, may have trained very hard. Very, you got to be very careful with an older guy. You can't over -drain, drain yourself because this way you lose all your strength.
Yes. Uh, what about what, training at 33 years of age? Well, Chris, you know what you got to do? You got to bide your time, you know. You got to say, it's like the old bull and the young bull. Take your time. Don't be in no hurry because you got to get your condition and contain it. You can't train like a 21-year-old kid or a 24-year-old kid can. You got to abide your training, take a day off now and then because you can definitely leave it. You got to save it for the fight. Holmes trying to drop that right hand with the jabs, trying to put together combinations, but in most cases always not within range. Round six we're looking at right now. Another right to the body by Witherspoon. Larry's giving him a dose of his own medicine. He let the right hand go to the body. Another shot to the ear. Larry's used the Muhammad Ali trick, opening up his glove and keep the guy's head off to the side. I like one trait of Tim Witherspoon. He keeps that chin chucked in. Keeps that target not exposed, fully exposed. Where's Larry? His chin is right out there. Okay, the end of round six. Scheduled for 12. Halfway. Let's go to the corner of Tim Witherspoon. Four brothers, three sisters, a big family. You're okay, Timmy, but you just gotta punch at him a little bit more, okay? Not okay. punching at him enough. You wanna win this here fight, okay? All right, if it goes to distance, Timmy, you gotta punch at him more than you're punching at him, all right? Going down the All right? You can't, you can't fight him in seven. You're going in the seventh round now, okay? You can't fight him even up, Tim. Okay. You gotta take you this gotta, away from him. Take it from him. Take this gentleman this away from him. Don't show him no respect. That's right. Don't show him no respect. Hands up. Come on, Tim. Come on, you can push it. Push it, Tim. I'm impressed by the alertness of the contender, Witherspoon, listening to everything that Robinson is telling him. Some good advice as we replay. There's a left to the body, a right cut on the ear of the champion. Backs up and then gets reset again as we get set for the seventh round. What's some con concern in Larry Holmes' corner about his side bothering him? And, the, and they had to go right to work on it. Snapping away from that long right hand, still getting some of it, got a good step left jab right there, comes back with one of his own. Very interesting contest. I'm enjoying the maneuvering, uh, the way that they're trying to outsmart each other. And once see that reach, he knows how this one out jabs Larry once in a while, but to get in the position. Again to the body in this manly art of self-defense. Chris, you see what I mean about youth? With this moves a shade quicker than uh, Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes is missing his counters in several spots. You know, we point out that Witherspoon, who's putting on a good show against the champion, only 15 fights, but won them all. He had seven amateur bouts. He won six and lost one. Throwing great punches. He's really doing some, some things in there that Larry hasn't seen in a long time. And that body is taking a tremendous beating. That was right on the solar plexus, that left hand. Really, really big, strong young man, Mr. Witherspoon. Round seven. I tell you, Larry is fighting right now for survival, Chris, because this kid is giving him everything. Larry catching punches that he normally would not and missing with combinations that he normally lands. Champion Larry Holmes undefeated in 42 fights. His hands full here in the seventh round with about a minute to go. Witherspoon taking everything that the champion comes back with, including that right hand. Sort of rolling away from the punches. Witherspoon got hurt with a right hand on top of the head, Chris. He reacted where he got a little hurt, but he got to be very, very careful. Another shot like that will put him down. And now he's getting much too close. Getting much too close to the champion. Witherspoon could have got very well arm weary. But he's looking for one shot now, which is a mistake. It... Bring it to me, says Witherspoon. What a battle here. 30 seconds to go in the seventh round. What a night. The crown affair in Las Vegas. Couldn't ask for anything more. Great fight. Contrasting styles, youth versus uh, the venerable Larry Holmes. 
that word venable, Chris. <laughs> you got to be careful. Larry Holmes now getting more right hands through. More solid punches. Finding the range. He is upset. He is not completely satisfied with his performance. Look at that determination on this 33-year-old's face. Witherspoon. Let's look back. There's the right hand. And that was flushing on the top of the head. The champion comes back with his right. Right hand count. Now announcing hands. Announcing And all eight. those punches hurt. Angelo, uh, how are you scoring the fight? I got it even. I'm not keeping score. This is a very <laughs> close fight. Uh, I think it's up for grabs. I think Witherspoon. I think Larry Action is fighting for survival, but Witherspoon is really putting him to the test now. Just Witherspoon has all the confidence in the world. I want him. I want him. And here he can have him in the eighth round. The champion Larry Holmes. On the far side of the ring, Witherspoon, his back to us, both six feet, three inches tall. Their first meeting, first fight for Witherspoon, and I'm really surprised in, in a year. Now, Chris, we have a matchup here where you have aggression. Guy taking it to a guy, you know, making the fight, he should be getting the points. But, you know, we had a little something like that in Weaver. So we don't know, what, you know, which way to go, so I'm a little hesitant. But I would say this fight is up for grabs. I think this has got a slight edge. Three American judges are scoring it on the 10-point must. The referee, Mills Lane, does not score. And what a great job he is doing, allowing these two heavyweights to fire away at will. The mark of a great referee, Chris, is when you don't see him. Those guys that make themselves presentable, the bothering, battery fire, they, they don't make good referees. That's a good referee. He's letting the action take speak for itself. And those others I don't mind talking about when they do a bad job. So important. 11 knockouts for Witherspoon, Larry Holmes. His 42 victories has 30 knockouts. Witherspoon's going there you back see the ratio. Look at that. How Witherspoon's easy. going back to the slipping, the sliding routine, which is great. And his quickness is really taking advantage of Larry Holmes. Halfway point now, round eight is scheduled for 12. I guess terrible, Tim, is terrible, Chris. It's terribly good. Terribly good, is right. <laughs> Falling beautifully inside that long right hand. It goes the south wall switch, you know? Yes. But Larry was smart enough to push him down with his hands. Pushing on him. All those little tricks add up experience. Credit must go to the teachers of both fighters. Yes. It's uh, almost a, a lesson of what should be done in the ring. Can't do better than touch. Slowing the pace down just a little bit here in the final 30 seconds of round eight. There have been no knockdowns, only abrasion in the left corner of Witherspoon's eye. There goes the southpaw stance. You catch it, Chris? Mm -hmm. Very smooth. I think he'll be doing a lot more of that because he's working on Larry, switching southpaw. Obviously, Larry hasn't fought that many southpaws. Obviously, Witherspoon showing us he can take a punch. This will be a much needed one minute rest because we've just passed round eight. That means four to go here in the second part of a unprecedented World Heavyweight Championship doubleheader. Dokes on a draw, retaining his title against Mike Weaver. And now Witherspoon, the number three contender going against the world champion of the WBC, Larry Holmes. And that is an overview scene, a beautiful shot here in Las Vegas. Round nine coming up. Take that title from him, okay? You gotta punch more like you did in the eighth round. Okay. Put the pressure on. Okay. Put the pressure on. Okay. Don't lay outside. Lay outside you know, too, too long. Come on, lay outside too long, Tim. You don't have fresh air. 
Nice pitch in. Hey, come on. Oh, the great oh, cut man, Eddie Aliano, doing on, a very on, useful on, job. Get on. Get on. You notice how he acknowledges Slim Jim Robinson? What a what a gentleman. Have great respect for each other. You know, you gotta appreciate that when it's teamwork. You work together, you scheme, you, you, you make your move, you're thinking, and you're one person, you're a blend. This is such an interesting bout. Strategy, so well planned by both corners, that you almost forget to score the fight. Now he's got Holmes moving. Larry got himself bent, got a bath in the corner again. Larry got hurt with that right yes, hand. Yes, he did. On the side of the head. Larry's hurt. Take a look. We'll keep Larry's hurt. Yes, he is. He's hurt. He's hurt. Blinking his eyes now. Look at it. It's definitely a hurt. He by is hurt. With the spoon, with the spoon has definitely got the guy. All he got to do is take his time. He got Larry Home hurt in bad, bad shape. And we still have a couple of minutes to go here in the ninth round. Yeah, all with the spoon's got to do is be with the spoon. Good body shot to made him wince. Yes. The body shots is taking their toll, Chris. The left hook that caught Holmes unguarded, coming back with a short right hand. That must have hurt Witherspoon too because he covered up. Oh, no, great right hand. That's a great right hand. Larry Holmes is hurt. He's out of it. Yes, he is. He's out of it. Oh, he's got to do it. Larry Holmes. We have a minute and 30 to go. Larry Holmes is out of it. One more. He's got to go down. He's out of it. With the heart of a champion trying to fight back. to go. Yes, you said it so well. The mark of a champion. And believe me, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. And he's got a big mouse under his right eye. Holmes fighting under the courage of a winner of 42 straight. Look at this bombing now by a hurt champion. This is, this is survival of the fittest of the purest kind. 35 seconds counted. Will Holmes get off the hook? Punches, but in the eyes of the three judges, if they're doing a good job, they score. 
history of Witherspoon as a young kid, he's a tire in a late round. He showed me in the last round, he was tired. So Larry's trying to suck him into the shot by bouncing him and then he'll hit him with a good punch.
Perhaps he'll save that for the 12th and final round. A minute to go, and this is the 11th. Larry's having trouble holding his mouth. There was a good right hand by Holmes. Counter the right hand of Witherspoon. Witherspoon's looking at Allen with a good shot. He's slipping. Witherspoon and all his people figured that Holmes, the champion, was right to be taken. See the difference in jabbing? Witherspoon's beating over the jab. Remember I told you reach was a phony barometer? It's the way you got your feet in there, the way you set your jab up. Less than half a minute is we will have then one round to go, and it could very well be the deciding round. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Two good rights by Larry Holmes. And he has proven again tonight that when hurt, he has the ability to come back. Now, that last one-minute rest period. And Larry, well, now he's going to be seated in the corner. Eddie Futch is talking. Last round, last round. Last round. Good you make your fighter a parent of the last round. Everybody's worried about Winspoon going, you know, going 15 instead of 12. It was the best for Winspoon. Now it's better for Larry, or Larry has really had it. He's out of gas. Larry, who's going 10 rounds three times, 15 rounds three times, 12 rounds three, 11 three, whereas Witherspoon, 10 rounds twice. So he is in new territory. He's in outer space of boxing now, having survived 11. All right. Holmes scoring there. He's with his back to us, and Witherspoon countering back with the left hook. Now, three minutes to go. Here it is. Watch. Tim Witherspoon, a very confident young man. Gonna let it all hang out. But he's got to fight his regular style like he's been fighting. Don't be a club fighter. Stick, move, slide. Be with us, boy. Chris, we can't detract about Larry Holmes giving everybody a shot. That's why I admire about the guy. He has fought them all, every challenge, every test. Trevor Burbick, Leon Spinks, Ronaldo Snipes, Jerry Cooney, Tex Cobb, Lucian Rodriguez, his most recent fights. It was here in Las Vegas that he won his championship in 1978 in June. And here he is in Las Vegas tonight, 15th title defense, hoping to retain it. Witherspoon hoping to take it away. There you go. Come on, he says to home, taunting the champion, and he does. The right hand, don't drop those hands, says Slim Rock. Oh, that's a, that's a, keep those hands up, do you think? Now, a minute and a half, Angelo. Very, very important, Flint and a half, to decide, hey, who's the new heavyweight champion possibly? But I think Witherspoon has, has won this fight in my mind, but I'm not a judge. I keep saying it all the time. I would have to agree. The three judges from the United States, signed by the WBC, referee, not counting in the scoring, but what a sensational job he has done. It matches the quality of this championship out. Mills Lane. And Witherspoon with a minute to go. Now looking just a tad tired of who would No, no, be. he's looking for one shot. Yeah. He's making a mistake. He's looking for one big punch. Holmes is looking for the same thing. Yes, he is. that right hand. It's caught right. ready. Great left foot. Now the closing 30 seconds. Surprisingly, a back of the hand almost from Witherspoon to Larry Holmes. 42 wins. 30 by knockout. This 25-year-old upstart from Philadelphia. Larry, Larry's really, really out of it. He couldn't get his punches together while they were laying there. Larry does a number on you when you're in club. It's about over.
ladies and gentlemen, a standing crowd showing their appreciation the effort of two well-conditioned heavyweights over the scheduled 12-round distance. Tim Witherspoon, the late reaction from giving it his all, and Larry Holmes going around throwing kisses to the audience. A very appreciative champion. He won it here in Las Vegas in 1978. Put it on the line for the 15th time tonight. And the three judges, Chuck Hassett, Herb Santos, and Chuck Minker, it is now up to the Yes, it is. They're the ones that got the final say with the pencil. And the red, very crowded. You really can't get a reaction from Larry Holmes in watching him, uh, how he feels about his performance. A little bit dejected, perhaps. Larry Holmes, a true pro. He gave it 100%. I don't know how he came back and threw the shots. I mean, he really showed it. But you know, when you get up in age there, a lot of the little things you used to be able to do, you can't get through there. Like I told Muhammad after the fight, I said, Muhammad, it's not there anymore. Not there anymore. But what we have here is a replay of some more of the combination punches in that last round. Just loves to go to that left. have to remember it's 1964. Play and listen. Well, let's see. Jimmy Lennon is ready. Here is the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please in this title bout. We have a split decision. Chuck Hassett of California sees it 118, Larry Holmes to 111, Tim Witherspoon, Hassett voting for Larry Holmes. Herb Santos sees it 115 to 114 in favor of Tim Witherspoon. The deciding ballot cast by Chuck Minker, 115 Holmes, 113 Tim Witherspoon. Winner and still the heavyweight champion, Larry Holmes. Listen to this reaction from the huge crowd. A split decision, retaining his title in his 15th defense 